We need all of them. Okay? Oh, sorry. <laughs> Continuing sorry. our fun in the kitchen with Executive Chef Bo McMillan from the Sanctuary and Elements, and uh, Chef Chuck Hughes. Continuing our work on the scallops with the uh, the carrot butter. We've got some gnocchi, and uh, I don't really know what else is we're in there. We're moving the train. So, we're moving the train right along. But now we're going to go into the more. I wouldn't say complicated, uh -huh. but the more complex part of our recipe here. Not complicated, but it's complex. Not complicated, but complex. Please so, bear with me, I'm French. This is at a <laughs> third grade reading level, is yes. what you're saying? So basically, what we want to do is you want to get carrots. So far, you guys are good. Okay. Okay? Juice them. Okay, and so if we don't have a juicer, blend them? If you them? don't have a juicer, you could, doesn't really work. You could buy, buy, you could buy, buy carrot them. juice. Buy your neighbors. Yeah. Or borrow, borrow your neighbors, yeah, or, you or <laughs> go see Bo Mac. He'll lend you his. I will no problem. Uh, so basically, what you want to do is you want to juice the carrots, reduce them, hence enhancing the flavor, giving them a little bit of sweetness, and really that just thick. concentrating those flavors. It will get a little bit thicker as okay. well. Oh. But what we want to do to that is once our it's reduced, it's super flavorful. You want to add. Way too much butter. Okay. Okay. Just go nuts. There's never enough. It's carrot butter. So we could actually use this. We could even put like a pound of butter in there, uh -huh. and it, we we wouldn't be wrong. It would still be good. It's healthy to yes. juice and it's, carrots. Yes. <laughs> so this is you a great. You could just uh, juice the carrots and not even incorporate them into the recipe. Hundred percent. And it'd still be you healthy. Drink a diet still coke, be. Everybody's good to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So just keep a diet, and maybe just. Go a little bit lighter on it. Okay. If you're gonna have a vegetarian, low fat, gluten free sandwich, right? Just put a little. Okay. Right, a little okay. touch. All right. So basically, it's pretty much as easy as that. You're gonna add a little bit of cornstarch. We don't really have to add cornstarch, but I would say at home, if you want to make sure the sauce stays and it doesn't split and it holds, it adds a little. Uh, it gives it that. Tightens it. It tightens it up and it makes sure that 100% your carrot butter will stay nice and thick and smooth, kind of like what we have. Um, here, right here. So, so that's a finish. You're not looking for something that's too thick. It's really it's a carrot butter sauce. Okay. You know what I mean? So obviously carrots are sweet. Uh, hit it with a little bit of salt. You've I was going to say, do you there. lose the carrot flavor by adding too much butter? No, believe no. it or not, just kind of smooths it out. But a couple things that go like when you experiment, you know, ginger, star anise, you can add some spice and some flavor Why, in there you. too. That gives it that that kick kick to it. I'm but sorry, it I didn't get the kick. Can what again? you? <laughs> oh, I'm, no. Sorry. What you really get is the intensified <laughs> sweetness from the carrots, which is really nice complement for the rich scallops, uh, the kind of salty, buttery gnocchi with the vegetables, which is killer. So all of these sorts of things, and the, you know, the, like the little secrets of the cornstarch, and um, you know, all these little things that we're learning about how to get the gnocchi to, to rise to the top. Lunch and learn. All concepts we're going to kind of 100%. touch on. Lunch and learn's 11th year celebration of food and life and cooking. I mean, we we talk about. Music. We have uh, mu musical entertainment. This year's lineup is incredible. We always try to bring in some nationally recognized chefs. <laughs> Chuck, obviously, oh, one of our headliners. Oh, we missed the shot. You're going to have to jump again. He's kicking it off Saturday, <laughs> so he's going to put on a great show for you Saturday. But, you know, I've got Jared Tice from Boston, the Parker House. We're going to talk about the history of the Parker Red House. Red Sox Walls, Nation. Boston Cream Pie, all that stuff. Local chefs, Mal Messinas, Lee Hilson, Charlie Casals, Kelly Fletcher. I mean, a lot of great guys. So it's a, a mix of the Valley's best with the nationally ranked best. It's very entertaining. There's a live cooking demo, and it's interactive. We I want people ask to come you and this. learn. But when you started this 11 years ago, did yeah. you really think that it was going to take on, or did you think it was going to be like, oh, it'll be good for the, you know, for we, the resort? It and was summertime, honestly, stuff, and we wanted to give back to the community. We, we were trying to find things for us to do. You know, it, it heats up here, and it, oh, and yeah. it gets slow down. And we literally took off, Charles Wiley and I took off this program, doing this just as a way to create new things and offer something. I think 11 guests showed up for our first Lunch and Learn. This is the 11th year, it won a national award last year. It's now we have chefs, we, we, our classes, Chuck's got over 105 guests. We still have room, come down and see them. But it's just blown up, and now we're yeah. having musical entertainment. There's just so many fun things. Bruce Adele's coming this year with the YouTube cooking channel called Hungry, and we have two of his stars from the network called the Casserole Queens. These we're girls gonna have are a awesome. Fifth, yeah, we're gonna have a '50s dress-up contest. There's gonna be a casserole cook-off, and I've got, that a, your little, I've got a that country was, that music was, that artist coming. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so it's gonna be good. But I'm telling you, Chuck is gonna blow the roof off the house on Saturday. He's got a great menu, lobster poutine featured. I don't know if they know this word here, Chuck. So lobster poutine, basically poutine is kind of like what you would have here, probably a late night taco. Big time. You know, it's our version of like the late night taco where it's Montreal fries, comfort food. cheese curds, and gravy. It's nasty, it's fat, it's one of those things that you have at four in the morning. I think we have that here. See? <laughs> and the thing that's yeah. happened is, is uh, you know, Montreal's been kind of known for that, and it's really taken a life of its own, and it's really 
uh, something that we would never, like, I, I, I traveled this year all over the world, and I was in Singapore, and somebody said, like, how does your grandmother make it? And I'm like, my grandmother respects herself. Yeah. <laughs> she would never make this stuff, you know what I mean? So it's kind of, you know, like, now we're known for poutine, which is like, it's a good and bad thing, you know what I mean? So I decided, why not? When, when, uh, when he said, I'm coming down, I said, you know, we'll make a lobster poutine. It's kind of a version that we make. Uh, so that'll be part of the show as well. And I mean, 120 people, Bo Mac and I, we're, gonna uh, we're just going to have a great time. But you know Steph, I mean? this is the dish he featured when he also yes. whipped Bobby Flay on Well, and I was going to say, you guys have the Bobby Flay connection. Shazam, so, Bobby and now Flay. I feel like I'm kind of like holding yeah. off on our, you know, it's an inside joke. So go ahead and tell our viewers really kind of your background with Bobby Flay and Iron Chef. Well, we both competed. We were lucky enough to be asked. I, think I love you, Bobby. Yes, first, too. <laughs> first and <laughs> foremost. Too, and he's watching, thing. yes. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we both, I think we both had the ability to, to challenge. I was an American challenger. Chuck was, I think, the only or the second Canadian to ever win on Iron Chef America. We both the had youngest. This, yeah, we both Just had if you want to throw Bobby them. Flay. <laughs> I got Kobe beef. He got lobster. Two incredible ingredients. And I think his style and his approachable food, the same way. I think my the style that day, I had a, I had a great ingredient. I had everything working for me and I stuck to my guns yeah. and it worked out. And, that's and really the same thing with Chuck. And that's the whole thing about Iron Chef, you know, people ask me and that's the question I get all the time, like how real is it? How, you know, and it's it's more real than real. Stressful. You know, unfortunately like I wish it was a little bit more fake because it'd be a lot easier. Yeah. But, it, but, but, but it's, it's like everything It's an hour, it. it's hardcore, it's like, you know, stress. it's stress, yep. it's intense and you know what happened that day for me, it kind of like Bo, everything went 100% amazing yeah. for me. You know what I mean? I have a horse um, Bobby lodge somewhere in my yeah. body. I don't know where, but I was like, <laughs> yeah. that's what saved me. Someone's looking out for me. Yeah. 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 And, Did you, you know, put the horseshoe there? Or uh, <laughs> no, but I've been contracted to take it out. So <laughs> we'll see. We'll see. Um, so yeah. So it's just one. You know, for me, obviously, for for both of our careers, probably it was just a great milestone and just yeah. amazing. You know, for me to, you know, the first day ever going to Food Network in the U.S. meeting Bobby Flay, totally. meeting Morimoto for me, it was like yeah. a huge day of Kitchen first. Kitchen Stadium. Yeah. You know, we came out on top, which was you know. Did just you take amazing. that to the red pepper and just give it a big bite like yeah. the chairman? Mm -hmm. he, I did control. backflips that day. It was incredible. I've lost control. Yeah, that's incredible. something I want to see. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to let them go anywhere because we're actually going to taste something. We've yeah, got we're two plate amazing this up. I iron we're chefs. Gonna make a plate. We're going to make a plate at some point, um, and we're also going to tell you a little bit more about lunch and learn. These guys, we're just, we're just. We'll gonna... have your weekend forecast coming up next. <laughs> it's going to be hot. <laughs> it already is. <laughs>